Narrabo, Narrabo, Narrabo Will. Who's he? No idea. I am driving all over the place trying to find a signal for my vlog. I just can't. Been to Garstang, been shopping. It was 80%, it was 80% um, uploaded. I come out of shopping and then it says 15% uploaded. I can't believe it. The phone's getting really hot as well, you know, trying to upload. What's going on? The signal's gone rubbish. All around this area, I just can't get a decent signal. I can't get anything better than one bar. I've been all over, I've, been, I've done about 10, 15 miles trying to find a signal. There's nothing. Something's going on. So I'm going to sit here until my vlog's uploaded. Could be an hour, I don't know. But I've got some snacks, so I'm just going to stay here now. The Avis preferred loyalty program and get 10% of every car rental. That to me is just a perfect dinner. A bit of fish fried, butter, potatoes, broccoli, a bit of YouTubulus. <coughs> perfect! Mm. Today, shirt collar up my elbows. <laughs> Today I'm heading to uh, watch a friend get his boat lifted out of the water because he can't get off the canal without getting it craned off. I can't afford to do it, so these rich people are getting all their boats craned off, you see. Big pension people, that's the ones. No pension people stay on. I think I told you in previous vlogs that the uh, the canal's got a breach. Not only has the canal got a breach, but the Ribble Link, the link onto the River Ribble that takes you into the mainland from Lancaster Canal is, is broken. So there's no crossings until it's fixed and there's no movement past the breach. So it's, it's quite restrictive. So a lot of people are getting lifted out. Um, because of, the, because of the uncertainty, you know, they, they want to get on. You got, your, you got your own YouTube channel, have you, mate? Oh, yeah. Hello, Will. How are you doing? This is the chat from the ooze. <laughs> hey. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. It's your fault I'm here, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just couldn't see it. I, I it happens. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit late. It's at nine o'clock. About an hour late. That's not good. Easy enough. They come and fend you off anyway and everything, oh, so. No, this is yeah. yeah. interesting in all this it really is it's been really busy lifting out he said it's been so busy In my view, um, this would be a great opportunity to check your hull and your steering and all that gubbings and your prop, prop shaft. I think some of the boats has got their boats blacked while it's out of the water, which makes perfect sense. Darren's hull, uh, his boat's been two packed, so his, his hull was perfect. His boat's pretty modern, it's fairly newish, very low miles, low hours. So uh, it's a very interesting um, thing to do is to watch these boats being lifted. 
it's, it's not just a matter of pulling your boat in they lift it out you've got to be you've got to know where to lift narrow boats you know because of the weight some boats are different weight distribution on their hulls some are heavy at the back some are heavy at the front full water tank full fuel tank and all that kind of stuff so it all you know there's a bit of skill involved in this and that big old Perkins engine lifting this boat it's amazing isn't it Thrusters. You got bow thrusters? No, there's, there isn't one, but there's, there's accommodation for that. Oh, God, I hate those. They always rot those things. Isn't that amazing? Your hull looks imma immaculate, doesn't it? You're a very lucky man. Very good boat. I think here wasn't not going to go. In short, this is the haulage chap now. RNJ Dempsey and Son, who's taking this boat to its destination. Bridgewater. Is he going to Bridgewater? I can't remember not where he's going. He's going. He's going. Chorley on the lead. Oh, the Chorley. Yeah. And Chorley. He's, em he's emptying his water tanks because he's probably too heavy. I'm not sure. So it must weigh him as he, when he's out on that No, when they lift jib. it up, they ask them. They, 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 they must be able to tell when they lift it off the water, whether it's still really heavy. Must be white scales on there, surely. <laughs> well, they could be. Right. Why, are you, yeah. why are you lifting? There is, a, there is a limit to the length of your boat that they can haul. I think it's at 64 feet is the maximum this, this haulage company can take because it requires a different kind of permit for you to... Uh, take longer boats also different trailers well, what's happening here this, this van's just sat here I think they're waiting for something uh -huh. no, oh, lovely little van there we go we're off again we're off with this this bit of kit's amazing isn't it I love it oh something there
Takes some skill all this, doesn't it? Pretty painful, this skill. This hull looks amazing. Four years since it was done. What's that on the back? A plate underneath. So 225 to lift it out, 420 plus fat to transport it, another 400 to drop it back in again. This, guy, this guy's got to pay for his diesel, you know. That ain't cheap now, is it? Is it 57? I said, yeah. He said, because last week they said it was 62 and it was 65. Apparently, if you're over 64, you have to have special permits and stuff. Oh, really? So he said, I'll check it, but you pay any fines or anything if I get stopped. I said, I'm, I'm, the logbook says it's 57, but why is it overhanging so much? No. How long's this, how long's this trailer then? He's extended it, hasn't he? This trailer. Yes. 57, 100%. It's next to mine, the same yeah. size. Okay, you've got seal seal prop. You've got a special cover on the nut. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. Is that like a sacrificial anode? I'll be chuffed with this. I'll be chuffed with this. Well, I would, mate. Well chuffed. Mine's been mine's been plated. Mine has already. Right. This chap here, Graham. I was on the use with him. We did went across the wash with him. Yeah, he said. He said yeah. On the old watch on the old vlogs. It used to be a teacher, retired. It's an unusual knot there. What is it? A spring clip on it. If this, if this boat was more than 62, he'd need a special license. So he's asking what the size is. 57. The other day he took a boat. The people said it was 62, but it was 65. It's over 65, he gets a fine. He's got to make sure this boat is the sizes that we say it is. It's a bit low that. I think that's where your water pump sits. Bill John was an after. I know. <laughs> it's a good boat though. He's done 6,000 boats, this bloke. Wow. I mean, his dad. Is there anything I should do with that while we're going to see dry dock next week? Make well, you got to check your prop and your, everything, don't you? Prop no, play. That funny build. You think I should put like a, you know, like a front sloping? I don't know, mate. Whatever you want to do with it. It's only common. It's only common sense, isn't it? It's sticking out further than the than your. Uh, what's that called? It's protecting the. I tell you what, it's protecting the. Uh, what's that called? The skeg. It's See, that's the skeg. it. Yeah, but it's protecting the skeg at what cost? Well, it's going to take the weight of the skeg. If I get caught. It's going to catch stuff in it, yeah, that is. I suppose so, yeah. Well, it's not a lot I can do about that. It looks solid there? enough, doesn't it? It looks solid enough. Uh, four years. Just that we're looking is at. Is it the bilge? Yeah. Will be the bilge, will it? It's good, but is that the bilge pump goes in there? It's a weird old thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Is, that, is that rust on there? That's rust. God. Yeah. Now you've pointed it out to me. Yeah. <laughs> now you're paranoid. There's a problem. No, do you know what that is? It's a piece of 10mm plate that's been... Oh, really? <laughs> okay, now you've been about a bit, haven't you? Wow. You know your boats, then? Yeah. I used to work for... Well, I started off at Evans and Son. Then went to Mark Narrowboats. Then went to Roger Fuller. And is this, then... this way back in the, what, 80s, 90s? Uh, I've never heard of any of them. Are they all oh, yeah. Call them? Oh, yeah. Well, back, Roger doesn't do as many now, but back, what would it have been, 20 years ago, 
Roger was charging 30 to 40 grand for a shell 20 years ago. Wow, good quality then. Yeah, well... This is good quality, I think. The world is really nice. Yeah. Isn't it? What are you pausing for? This is I'm, nice. I'm trying to figure out whose shell it is. Aintree. Aintree's pretty good, I think, aren't they? Yeah, they're not too bad. But yeah, Roger Fuller, when, when you did the the bow on Roger Fuller's, yeah. it was all in 18 strips because he did the proper old Joshua style so you could get going around that way and that way. What, in, in, in yeah. That's a new, I've never said that before either, lot. That's, that's a new thing. That's a new one. Oh, the bent over ones. Yeah, yeah. Really good, that. Oh, what I've done with mine is I put a, I put a, um, in a tube over it, it's, yeah. You know, with some over, yeah, the, over the I forget who it is now. One still does the nut on the end with a split pin in, that's yeah. Mine's got that, and then the others, but it's split pin gets all plastic bags and everything, yeah. So I put rubber over that, stop it doing that. Pretty good nick, though, isn't it? This is it, really is. It's in dry dock next week, blacking. Well, them down here. Does he want me to go up there and see Yeah, see if, he, see if he wants to go up there. I'd go up and I'd go up. I feel like all he's doing is going to the shore loading aeroplanes and then down. Put that strap underneath the spark. No. No. It's not on tight, is it? It's just, it's just, please. He's just holding it, look. There's, yeah. There's no blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're an agile man. <laughs> I'm sure you're supposed to have a safety harness on. Well, where's your, where's your high vis? Where's your helmet? Well, that's it. Is that, is that going to stop you if you pull it? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's what I mean. It's hilarious. I had one go on the trailer, which was that, that one that went. It blew out to flap off. Yeah, they go, they go, don't they? And it even ripped the floorboards off the bed yeah. of the trailer. Could kill you, so can't it? It literally ripped the screws out of the floor. Yeah. Could kill you. Yeah. I you know a, a lady started a campaign, I think her son had been killed. Because you're not judged on the age of the tyre, you're judged on the tread. And this lorry had had a really old, you know, really good tread. And both. But really old tyre. And it blew out, I think the lad died. And she she started this campaign where Laurie shouldn't have tyres more than, you know, X years old, like, but I don't think it went anywhere. No, it's... They start to They start to degrade, don't they, rubber? I think it's 10 years is the maximum you're allowed. Right. Should be, a, should be a date on these, anyway. Should be a date, date and everything well, on them. The thing them. is, if they're being used every day, they don't last 10 years. No. They might do two if you're lucky. Yeah. The throw's even worse. Look, so your back tyres bent in, look. It's just scra yeah. It just scrapes along the floor, the back tyres, don't they? Yeah. They go down the worst, don't they? Yeah, you, your middle one generally has it in bits because that's the one it spins on, on the back. Yeah. The torture you see when you're fully loaded going around the corner, the tyres go. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. You can hear it as well. You think, oh, no, tyres. That's why they put reverse steering on, didn't they? You saw a lot of trailers. Yeah, but that takes the fun out of it. <laughs> Scrapey tyres. Wow. I just want to film this because I love it. That's forward. And that's reverse. Is that it? Yeah. Well, you got, so you've just got a brake and accelerator, that's yeah. it. And, and the buttons. Oh, wow, I love it. Fantastic. It's another world, isn't it? Eh? Not like clutch leg. Clutch knee, they used to call it. Why, why does it stay that up then? Save why does it stay up? Such a safe tyre tread. <laughs> is it some sort of legal thing to it? No, if, if I've got over 18 tonne on, it'll drop down on its own. So this is not... So it's it, bloody so it, close to it. That's so it weighs everything. It, it might go down if it was the other way around, so you've got the engine... All oh, right. So it senses automatically then, it yeah. goes down, wow. And it won't even let you lift it up either, if, you're, if you've got the weight. Yeah, on. yeah. I didn't know, it's fascinating. So it's fascinate. A fascinate. <laughs> yeah. See you, pal. Pull round with you. Off it goes now, look. Well, I see you, Will. See you, buddy. I'll be in touch, all right. See you, mate. I'm coming round now with you. Huh? I'm going to walk round with you. You're I'm walking here, You're walking back. I'm on the bike. Oh, yeah. yeah. Off it goes, look. Oh, 
Interesting to find out about all, why the why the wheels up. See the wheels up because it's not it's not 16 ton. All right. 16 ton it drop automatically that wheel. Automatically. Yeah, wheels. yeah. So, so your port's less than 16 ton. Must be because it got oh, to the back end. 70, no, it's an 18 ton. Mine's 17. But the weight's at the back. Yeah. The weight's the other way around. It said it it dropped. Close, <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? I love it. All this stuff. Just so interesting. All the information that I'm gathering. In my vlogs. This. Canal services, is there any shops here? Any marinas? I need some top black white. Do my roof. How interesting was that, wasn't it? All that information about the lorries and the transporters and the boat sizes and all that weights. Wow. Another boat are gone now. Another pal gone. See him next time. here today to take this off take the wipers wipers off 16 mil these are that one I just want to get this thing off get it resealed get it taken off and hopefully get it cleaned out and reseal it see it under there lot Look at that, look at that build up. Oh my God, look at the sludge under there. Wow. Oh, look at it under there, look. No wonder it's not. That's completely blocked. Completely blocked with sludge. No wonder it's bloody all spilling over. Blimey, let's get this cleaned out, Rippers. Get that taken off. Hopefully get it resealed. Look at that behind there, look. Can you see what's blocked up? All that sludge over the years. I've never cleaned this out. Wow, I've actually marked, I've marked the wipers with some tape, look, where it goes, you know? Look at that, look. Bloody hell, look at that. That's just soil, that is, just soil and silt. Check that out. Oh, right next to me. Gee, oh, 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 it's oh, revolting. Oh, wow. Oh, I better move. Get in there, lot. Get in there. Scraped most of the window back. I don't like working in these weird positions. People look at you like you're some kind of gonna rob them or something you know I don't like park being parked in these weird these weird positions you know people oh especially that smell God blimey clean this off and I'm gonna get we move somewhere else I don't like it here you know I must get paranoid about parking up in these weird places the locals me like I'm some kind of terror. Two people just walked past. No word of a lie. I said good morning. And they looked at me like I was about to rob them or something. They just looked disgusted. What? Talk about judgment. Oh, that smell. Oh, I've got to go. Just poking this out. I can poke down as far as I can. It goes under there somewhere. Further. Any further? No. What I've done now, I've cleaned it all out. Uh, wiped it all down as best I can. I, I want to get Molly moved from here because the smell isn't horrendous and the noise is bad. I've got guys working behind me. And I just don't like the environment at the moment. Put a smear of silicon sealer all the way along there. I'm going to seal that against the windscreen. I've also put a load of silicon sealer along that seal to hopefully seal this, stop water coming in here onto the engine. Will it work? No idea. Let's try it. 
also seal, put some sealer on that hole as well. That's going to leak, isn't it? It's all back together and cleaned out. Um, siliconed it all, cleaned it all out, got rid of all the crap. Block wasn't it solid. Hopefully, it should drain better now. Uh, I didn't film it because the smell was overwhelming. There's just so many cars rushing past. I couldn't. It's so noisy. <sighs> I'll have to get it finished and get out. I moved the van anyway in the end somewhere a bit better. Out with the boys. Oh, it's great getting out with the lads, it really is. These young guys, I do give them a run for their money. I give them a run for their money, lads. Don't, we're two behind. The best player so far. Just gone over here though, on the left. I get tired at the end. Hole 18, I get tired. That's me! I'm just over there, he's gone into that house. What a place to put a house. Right where you've all lands. That's stupid. is here, not tomorrow but Saturday, today's Thursday, the 8th, rings a bell, Saturday the 8th, no it's Thursday the 8th of August, uh, I need to get rid of some rubbish, I'm moving the van, I need to do some little bit of work on some, it's, water keeps leaking onto the engine, it's really bugging me, I keep trying different things to stop it, still leaking on there so get some hot water do a bit of washing and uh, get some yeah whatever 